the project language was English, so each organization had to ensure at least one contact person who speaks fluently in English. As we experienced, uh, people in Europe speak very different kind of English, so sometimes it made uh, very hard for us to mention the project. Every preparation, discussion, file transferring happened via email, but we also created a TeamLab office account because we wanted to have a platform where everybody could find uh, the products. For instance, the final versions of documentation or connection, connection information to uh, each partner. We also presented our work to the world via Twitter and our own website where anybody could follow the process and the work we had already done. About the meetings, we had five joint meetings where we all worked together. The first initial meeting was in Glasgow, Scotland. The second in Aalborg, Denmark. The third in Lille, France. Fourth in Hertogenbosch in the Netherlands. And now finally we are here in Barcelona with you. Between Aalborg and Lille, and later between Hertog and Bosch and Barcelona, working groups met in London to make some prepara preparations related to their tasks. So we had two more interim meetings. I would like to mention some general information about the joint meetings we had. Usually the same members attended each meeting from the nine official and one unofficial organizations, our partners. Lille was the only occasion where the meeting wasn't hosted by the local organization, but usually they were, so uh, the hosts could uh, present their work, experiences, methods, so we could learn from each other. As the base of a learning project, it was very important for us. Usually the meetings were chaired by the leading organization, Absothekat, and there was always a person who helped to facilitate of the group. There was also a person who was uh, taking the minutes, which was very important because it included the decisions, tasks we made, so the process could be followed even if someone missed the meeting. It was very important. Now I'm going to try to give you an overview about uh, the meetings one by one and uh, tell you what were the tasks we managed in these different meetings. Let's start with the kickoff meeting in Glasgow. There were three uh, main tasks uh, in Scotland. One, uh, to confirm the implementation plan of the project. Then, uh, to establish working groups, which working groups could make the modification of the indicators of disability equality in Europe, IDEE, what Michal also mentioned. Then we also had to find responsibles related to the tasks. Six domains of IDEE were chosen and one was created to be tailored to deaf blindness. We had been divided up into seven work groups to, de uh, to do these modifications and we created a new indicator form to collect the data we wanted to use. After Glasgow, uh, each work group had been working on the modifications and in Denmark, Aalborg, they could present their proposals. We had a long discussion because we are coming from different cultures and different countries. We face uh, different difficulties and uh, we have different interests about the field of deafblindness. So we had to consider which indicators we would like to keep and which uh, one, uh, the ones we, we don't want to keep. But finally, we could uh, approve the indicators. That's how they became the IDBEE. Uh, in Aalborg, we worked mostly with our instruments and tools, but I'm not going into details because my colleagues are going to tell more about this after my presentation. So we got the new indicators, but we also wanted to make a European comparison about uh, the deafblind situation. So the new task for each work group was to create some questions about their domains, which could be included in a questionnaire that was the chosen form of data collection in this project. As Miha said, we also wanted to receive some feedbacks from people with deaf blindness and their families concerned. So in Aalborg, we decided to create this survey uh, to manage this. And after all, we uh, have a decision we discussed about the final form and contents uh, of the report. Like, 
how many pages we wanted to put in and what kind of informations. Last summer in Lille, there was a DBI conference um, in the same date when we had our third joint meeting. It was a very important movement in the project because there we could uh, introduce the project and our new indicators to the collaborating organizations. We wanted to make them interested because we wanted them to uh, answer our questionnaire. It was very important. So a working group traveled to London to make some preparations. We wanted to describe to the audience why we think this is an important data collection. We also wanted to uh, tell them a bit about the history of the project and it was uh, um, very important to explain them the way we were thinking, to explain them the indicators, domains, uh, which could be easily just abstractions if we don't find any practical connections to the daily living practice. So the work group decided to involve uh, people with deaf blindness to uh, explain and make our instruments more understandable in the daily practice. They had to decide um, how we uh, can involve people in this project and we wanted to speak about our future plans. What do we expect, expect from this project? After the work group created this agenda built on these questions, they designed the leaflets and posters uh, to this event. After the whole group met again in Lille, the work groups uh, had sent their questions to Afsa Thekat who made the, the final questionnaire that we could approve in uh, Lille. After we approved the questionnaire, we only had to agree on the deadlines of this data collection process. The work group was uh, very successful in the DBI conference. They got uh, positive feedbacks from uh, DevBlind attendants also. They agreed on our goals and they stand by the project. So we already had a little success in the middle of the project. On the fourth meeting in Herzogenbosch, we already got the answers, uh, the field questionnaires, so we got the database we wanted to work with. We created five new working groups, one to analyze the data we got, one to write the final report, one to make a financial plan, one to create a lobby plan, and a steering group which uh, could organize this final meeting and uh, related tasks. A bit slower, okay, yeah. excuse me. Okay, excuse me. Um, in the second interim meeting in London, only the data analyzing group met separated. They uh, continued the work they started in Hertogenbosch, working with the data and uh, find uh, the results of the numbers we collected. The other working groups were working in the background using the um, internet email connections the steering group started to have Skype conferences to organize this meeting. And after all, now we are here in Barcelona enjoying the project, celebrate the project, and uh, present it to you. Thank you. This was my presentation. And after mine, you can hear more about the details. Thank you.